Welcome to Make Easy. This is the second video of numeric pattern printing. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how you can print these type of pattern. The first one and this is the second one. So by looking at this pattern, you can see how many times it is printed. So let me check. One, two, three, four, five. So this is printed five times. So we have to use looping concept or loop. In my previous video, I explained you about the for loop with dry run. You can watch that video to understand how it works. In this video also, I will explain you. So I'm going to use for loop for this because we are printing five times. One, two, three, four, five. To execute same line of code repeatedly, we have to use for loop or any other loop. But in this case, I'm using for loop. So how these patterns is printed? First of all, understand that. First time we are printing one. So we can just keep a equals to one. This is a numeric number data type variable equals to one. I have kept that and I can print that simply print a one will be printed. But next time I want to print one one eleven. So how we can get this eleven by using this first number one. I have to use some formula. So this is the formula for that a equals to a into 10 plus one. So a is equals to a. A means value of a is one. One into 10 is 10 plus 1 is 11 so I will get that 11 I will keep this formula inside the loop so after printing a value will be 11 and next time 11 will be printed using the for loop and I am storing that 11 in a again first time a value is 1 second time a value will be 11 so in the loop it will execute repeatedly so next time 11 into 10 plus 1 because this is the formula 11 into 10 that is 110 plus 1 is 111 so next time 111 will be printed in the same way, next time 111 into 10 plus 1 will be 1111. So this is, this will be executed 5 times and the pattern will be printed. In the same way, we are printing here 5555555555. So let me write the code and let me explain you then. First of all, CLS and then I will use here A equals to 1. Because first value which is printed in the output screen is 1. So I am keeping A equals to 1. After that, I will use for loop for i equals to 1, 2, 5. Why 1, 2, 5? Because we are printing pattern 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just count it. 1, 2, 5. Then inside the for loop, I will print a. That is, I am printing a means I am printing 1 first time. After printing first time, what we want? I want value of a must be a into 10 plus 1 that is 11 or 111 1111 like that so after printing I am keeping this formula 1 will be printed and next time the value will be 11 so I will write here next i because I want to repeatedly execute this two line of code so I am keeping this inside the for loop next i and then I end okay let's dry run it let me copy the code and let me go to this again. Let me remove this and paste it here. Okay, let's try run this code. A equals to 1. So value of A is 1. Okay, value of A is 1. And for I equals to 1 to 5. So for I equals to 1 to 5 means value of I will be value of I will be 1 first time. So value of I is 1. And it is from 1 to 5. So condition is true. It will go inside the for loop this one so inside the for loop what i have written here is print a print a means value of a will be printed value of a is one this is output screen for now so one is printed in the output screen after printing what i have written here is a is equals to a into 10 plus 1 so a equals to a into 10 plus 1 means let me write here a equals to a a means 1 into 10 plus 1 that means 10 into 1 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So a value will be now 11. Fine. Next i. Next i means value of i will be 2. 2. When we come to this line, next i line, the loop will go back again to the for loop and check the condition. i equals to 2 and we have value 1 to 5. So this is condition is true because i value is 2. It is in the range. Now it, this is in the range. Condition is true. Again, it will go inside and print a. Now value of A is, you can see value of A is what? 11. So 11 will be printed in the output screen. 
Now value of a is 11. So again, we are calculating. So a equals to a into 10 plus 1. So value of a is 11 into 10 plus 1. So a into 10, 11 into 10 is 110 plus 1 is 111. Then next time means it will go again to the for loop and value of i will be next time means i value will be 3 and 3 is in the range of 1 to 5 condition true and when condition is true it will print again now it will print the value of a that is 111 you can see here then after printing a equals to a into 10 plus 1 again so value of a is 111 into 10 plus 1 111 into 10 that is 1110 then 1110 plus 1 is 1111, 1111, 4 times 1. Now next i, next i means value of i will be incremented by 1, 4. Now it will go to the for loop and check whether it is in the range of 1 to 5, 4 is in the range, yes, condition true, then it will print again, print a. Now check the value of a, check the value of a, a is 1111. So this is also printed. After printing, again we are calculating a equals to a into 10 plus 1. Now a value is 1111 into 10 plus 1. This will be 5 times 1. 11111. After doing that, next i, next i means value of i will be incremented again and 5. It will go to the for loop. 5 is in the range of 1 to 5. Yes, true. Then print a. Now value of a is 11111. Done. Then after printing, again a equals to a into 10 plus 1. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 10 plus 1. This will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And next i. Next i means value of i will be 6. When next i, it will go again to the for loop and check whether 6, value of i is 6, 6 in the range of 1 to 5. No, this is false. Condition is false because it will execute only 5 times, 1 to 5. The value is 6, so condition is false. When condition is false, it will go to the next line just after next i. Just after next i, there is end. And this is the end of the program, and we got the result. That is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So it will give the correct result. So let me run this program, and let's check whether it is giving correct result or not. I've shown you the dry run. Hope you understood that. Yeah, it is giving perfectly correct result. Now in the place of this 111, I am printing 5, 5, 5, 5. So for that, I have to change it. Starting value is 5. Fine. And a into 10 plus 5. First time 5. 5 into 10 is 50. 50 plus 5, 55. So in this way, it works. Just we have to change here. 5 and here also 5. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Like that, it will print. Good. It is giving the size result. Nothing else. Now if you want to print, the pattern like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we are printing 1 2 3 4 5 6 times so what i can do here is in the loop i have to change how many times six times so let's run the program and let's check whether it is giving correct result or not yes good so sometime if you want to print like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many digits are there in the number? At last, we have 8 digits. So if you have number which contain 7 or more than 7 digits, for that, you cannot use like normal variable. You have to use as symbol after the variable name. If number contain 7 or more than 7 digits, you have to use hash symbol. So we have to use here has. Now we are printing 8 times. So I will write here in the place of 6, 8. It will give the correct result now. So let's see. Yeah. Perfectly fine. So in the place of 5, if you want to print the pattern of 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So what you can do is in the place of this 5, just change it and keep it here 3. Run the program. Yes, perfect result. Yeah, right. So thank you for watching. If you understand this video, let's click on the like button, click on the subscribe button. And if you have any type of confusion questions, you can just comment below. Have a great day and see you in the next video.